So I love foraging for mushrooms, something I used to do as a kid. This is what I look for. So first of all, I'm looking at the gills. Now, if those gills are a pink or a brown, then that's a good sign. But if these gills are white, like in this one here, then I stay well clear. That's the first thing. Yes, you can eat some mushrooms that have white gills, but I just stay well clear. The next thing I look for is whether or not the stalk, this is the stalk here, has a skirt around it. If it does, I stay clear of that as well. And finally, whether or not the base of the stalk is a, like a, a round bulb and, and then, then there's a thing called a vulva and I'll show you that on the diagram. If it has um, the bulb, the vulva, a skirt and this is white, I stay well clear. The other thing I might do is if this has uh, got red on it, I don't touch those either um, and if this feels a bit um, slimy. Smell wise, they just got that really nice fresh mushroomy smell and there's nothing that smells quite um, toxic about it. So this is an Agaris SP they call it um, and this will be safe for me to fry up with some butter and some garlic. One final and very important, if you scrape the top of the cap and it stains yellow then it is poisonous. In this case the flesh stayed largely white. Now this is a smaller version and um, still this will be safe to eat. And this is one in its infancy, you would almost probably call this a butter mushroom, so that will be eaten as well. I also picked up this, this is called a puffball. Believe it or not, if you slice this, uh, this will be solid all the way through and uh, you can eat this with butter and garlic. So these are the things that I look for um, when I'm foraging for mushrooms. If you want to have some more tips and tricks on anything outdoors or maybe foraging, then don't forget to go to Outdoorsman Dave.